everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me today? Yes, teacher. I hear you very well. Okay, good. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to change my background. And um, here, so it's good to see you all. So how are you today? How are you? How was your day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so welcome, Patricia. Welcome, Roberto. Welcome, Amilcar. Welcome, Diego. Welcome, Herbert. It's good to see you all today. I hope you had a wonderful day today. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, well, you know, today is the last day of class, so you should be happy because tomorrow we don't have classes. So yeah, and weekend is around the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, do you work today, Patricia? Mm -hmm. Well, my day, in my day, I, I was working and mm -hmm. I was studying mm -hmm. the law. Nacer oh. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, making the test mm -hmm. because there are many tests. Um, uh, there are a lot of um, uh, dates, uh, material, uh, topics mm -hmm. uh, oh, that we oh. have to study. Mm -hmm. Okay. It seems you had mm -hmm. a very busy day today then. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hey, uh, Lily, yes. how are you, Lily? Hi, how are you? Um, um, I'm, in my mm -hmm. I'm fine. Much better than yesterday. Do you work today? Yes, I have. I was working, oh. but but today I I come home uh, early. Temprano. Early, early, early. early. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. early. Good. Okay, good, good. So thank you for being right here. So welcome Roberto, Amilcar, and Diego and Herbert, okay? So um, I guess we're gonna start right now. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Amilcar, how are you today? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I, I just have a question, a quick question uh, before we um, we start with the topic. Um, Han completado los ejercicios de la plataforma, la sección número tres y el examen. Have you worked on that yet? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good. Yeah. The midterm. The midterm, okay, También good. The midterm. Okay. But okay. in the midterm, I have uh, one little problem. What was the problem that you had? Um, do you pass the exam? <laughs> In the section Good B. Good evening, Luis Arquímedes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Number three, this is, would you mind don't sit there? Oh, um, would you mind don't sit there? But, okay. uh -huh. Oh, yes, I have a problem with this. Okay. Um, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I write it, uh, the different... Uh, Forms are the what do you write? write? What do you write? What was your answer for that? Um, for that sentence, <clears throat> would you mind not? Do you remember that when we were talking about asking uh, asking for um, some requests? So, uh, when we have would you mind, would you I uh, have would you mind, and especially <clears throat> if we have a negative form, uh, mind is going to be followed by not and then the ing verb. Would you mind not putting, uh, not sitting over there? Do you remember? Would you mind not sitting over there? Do you remember that part when we no, studied okay. the part? Mm -hmm. Vaya, el ejercicio bueno. decía, el ejercicio estaba en paréntesis, ¿verdad? El ejercicio decía, don't sit over there. De ahí le decía que tenía que utilizarlo con would you mind. Do you remember? Ahí decía, va, would you mind? Entonces, yes. ajá, correcto. El imperativo era don't sit over there. Ok, pero utilizando would you mind, would you mind, 
se le agrega, se le quita el do y, y le dejamos con would you mind not sitting over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's the that's the correct um, that's the correct way. I don't know I don't know the way you did it, but that's the correct one because the, I conserve the the do. Oh, I was uh, conserved the do. Oh, that's why. No, no, no. you shouldn't. I you will shouldn't. try it so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe, uh, maybe we can we can work on that one today, and we will see how it goes. Yeah, because the other group, for example, uh, another student from the other group, uh, he had the same problem, and he was like, "Hey, what's the problem? I don't. I have a problem right here. I need some help." So we were we're working on that. And the thing is, I don't. Do you ask for help to the people who are the ones in charge of those activities? Do you ask for help? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so I hope um, if you have any question, uh, we can have um, the answers during this uh, section. So remember, we're going to have a review section. Welcome, uh, Edit. Welcome, everyone. All right. So let's go to the, let me see. I'm going to start sharing. I'm going to start sharing. Uh, this screen. By the way, can you hear me well? Can you hear me? Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Yes, teacher. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Can you see my screen? Can you see it? Yes. yes okay. Good. Yes. Okay. So, as I said yesterday, every Thursday we have a review, right? We review uh, the parts, that, the different parts that we cover during the days, the, the different part that we cover on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So on Thursday, we basically, we, uh, we go over every single topic and we practice. That's what we do on Thursday. So that means that if you, uh, if you have any question today, if, you, if a topic was not clear, you can ask again and I can, I review, I can review and I can uh, clarify any doubts that you might have. All right, okay. So, so right now, while we are reviewing, do not be um, afraid of asking any question related to the, the topics that we're gonna be uh, reviewing today, okay? Um, this is the agenda that I have for you today. Well, basically, it's a, we're gonna have a warm-up activity and also we're gonna be reviewing relative closes and also we're gonna be uh, uh, reviewing somewhat um, <laughs> how to express holidays, remember? And then lastly, we have a practice. Uh, the objective for today is in this session, you will practice basically topics that we cover or that were covered in section number three. That's what we're gonna be doing today. All right. Okay. Let me ask you a general question. Uh, what do you remember from section number three? What can you tell me? Vamos a ver. Mm -hmm. What do you remember from section number three? Mm -hmm. Christmas Day is oh, the day. Oh, holidays, Christmas Day. When we, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, when we give uh, presents to mm -hmm. our family. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Family, Christmas Day. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else do you remember mm -hmm. from section number three? The special days. The special days? Mm -hmm. the special days. Relative okay, clauses. Relative clauses. Good. Very good. What else? What else do you remember from section number three? Relative clauses, um, uh, holidays. What else? Holidays activities. Oh, some holidays activities. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. Etc. Okay, good. So those were some of the activities or topics that we covered during this week. Let's move on to the warm up activity. All right. Uh, Edith, would you mind reading um, uh, the directions for me, please? Okay. 
Um, why not? Where you practice in section three? Uh, write as many words, vocabulary, as you can that you learn or practice in section three. You will have two minutes, then you will compare your words with other classmates. Let's have fun. Okay, so basically what we're going to do today is um, I want you to get a piece of paper. Um, you can have a piece of paper or maybe you can have a pen on your computer. And I would like you to have a piece of paper and then you are going to write, okay? You are going to write, um, you are going to write vocabulary. Any vocabulary that you learned in this section, section number three, right? Or any vocabulary that you practiced. Puede ser oraciones, puede ser cualquier cosa, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, and then, you will have two minutes. Then you are going to compare uh, the, the vocabulary lists that you have. Is that clear? Estamos claros ahí? Yes. yes? Sure. Okay. How, how many minutes are you going to have? How many minutes? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. huh? Two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Two minutes. So get a piece of paper. Um, get a piece of paper, please. And voy a buscar aquí el um, el cronómetro, so that I can give you uh two minutes. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready now? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Okay. Basically, uh, welcome, uh, Diana. Welcome. Okay. What are we gonna do? I'm going to give you two minutes, all right? During those two minutes, you are going to what? You are going to write vocabulary. Vocabulary that we studied during this section, section number three, or any vocabulary. Okay, no comienza todavía, Patricia. Espero que no comience todavía, okay? Okay, todavía no se comienza, okay? <laughs> Ah, I saw you writing and I was like, wait, what is she doing? And she was like working ahead. So no, 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 wait up, wait up, please. Do not start yet. Okay. Hasta que yo diga go, you are going to start. Okay, Patricia. Okay. 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 Eh, dos okay. minutos. En dos minutos escribe en cuanto a vocabulario. Ustedes se recuerdan que estudiamos en la sección tres, así como también cualquier palabra que nosotros practicamos. Ok, cualquier palabra que nosotros practicamos en la sección número 3. Luego, uh, you are going to go to breakout rooms and you're going to share your, your uh, the, depending on how many mm -hmm. words you wrote, you're going to share all of that with your classmates. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yes, teacher. Ok, yes, clear? Teacher. Ok, ahora sí, ¿estamos listos? Are we ready? Yes. Yes, ok. Yes. Uh, uh, to the count of three. One, two, three, go. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> Ahora sí, Patricia. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank Twenty five seconds. Remember, we talked about Christmas, holidays, Valentine's Day, etc. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver cuánto tiempo llevamos. Oh. 55 seconds in your notebook. Oh in your notebook. Sorry. In your notebook, you're supposed to do that in your notebook. I said in a piece of paper, but no aquí in el chat. Okay. 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 Un minuto diez. One twenty. 
Un minuto treinta, one thirty. One forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, fifty, ten. Ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, time's up, please. Time. Hey, Patricia, let me see you here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, good. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to um, I'm going to set up some breakout rooms so that you can share uh, the number. Listen to me. The number and the words you uh, typed or you wrote uh, in these two minutes. Okay. Eh, vi que uh, vi que unos me lo habían colocado en el chat. Eh, Según que les dije, get a piece of paper and write it. Okay. Pero yeah. si lo tienen en su teléfono por ahí, it's okay. It doesn't matter, all right? Okay, vamos a ver. Uh, lo voy a, uh, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Y quiero que comparen las oraciones, las, las palabras que tienen. All right. Uh, voy a, I'm going to set up a group of three and four. Okay, go, go. Ay, no. <risa> Bye, este, yo tengo, voy a empezar. Okay. Yo tengo eh, April Fools, que es Día de los Inocentes. Okay. Y anoté otra, Thanksgiving, Acción de Gracias. Ok. Thanksgiving, que es Acción de Gracias. Y um, that's it, ¿qué más? O sea, si no la puedo decir toda. Vamos una y una. Ok. En mi caso, the words that I learned or practice in the unit. Uh, you? Uh, Herbert? Uh, yo, I am give only six words of vocabulary. Okay. Uh, flying, speeches, speech, rice, groom, groom, miming, paradise. I don't know. Uh, Are they? Okay. Okay. What about, mm. what about Diana? Hello. Hello, hello, I'm here, Diana. Hello. Okay, Diana is hello. there, okay. Mm -hmm. Diana, what about your words? Why is everybody so quiet? Oh, hello. Good evening. So, do you finish your activity? Roberto, Diego. Hello, hello. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'm gonna close the activity soon. Just give me a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close the activity, okay? Okay. Okay, um 
Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome everyone, welcome. I hope you had a, you had enough time to share your sentences. I mean, not sentences, but vocabulary. Do you practice your vocabulary? How many words do you write? How many? Five, 10, 20, 25, 50, how many? How many words? Quantas palabras? How many? Eight. 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 Okay, good. Patricia, she wrote eight words. Okay, what about the rest? Thirteen. Thirteen. Good edit. Oh, good. Yes. Hmm? In my case, ten. Ten. Okay, Lily, ten. Herbert, six. Well, how many, Herbert? <laughs> In my case, in my case, only six words. Okay. Six, okay. How about you, Milker? Okay, teacher. How many only words? I have one sentence. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Well, okay, I said uh, palabras nada más, words, not sentences, because okay, sentence okay. would take okay. more. I mean, uh, for sentences, okay, okay, it would okay. take you more. Okay, how about you, Luis Alquimene? How many words do you write? Six. What is it? Six. Six, okay, that's good. Anyone else? Mm -hmm. What about Michelle? What about Diego? What about Rosa? What about Roberto de Paul? Roberta Donay and Evelyn Liliana? Mm -hmm. Ah, Evelyn Liliana, she already said it. Mm -hmm. Yes, then I have. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Four words. Four. Okay, four. Only four. One, two, three, four. Okay, four words. Okay. Yes. What about you? Thank you, Roberto Donay. Uh, what about you, Roberto de Paul? <laughs> Roberto de Paula, are you there? How many words? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, six, 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 six words. Six words, okay. Rosa Luz, what about you, Rosa Luz? Four words. Uh -huh. How many? Four. Four, okay. Uh, I don't know, Diego? And Michelle and Diana. Mm -hmm. Five, four. Five. Oh okay, God. thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Diego and Diana. Okay, I hope uh, I hope they can tell us later or while we continue working. All right. So uh, thank you so much for having participated. Well, thank you. I know you. I know we were like studying um, different vocabulary and thank you for thank you for participating in this activity. All right. So um, do you remember that during this week, well, yesterday, uh, we didn't complete the lesson, but I would like to finish it today. All right. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the first sentence for me, this one. When people get married, who wants to read that one for me? Mm -hmm. A volunteer? Nicole. Okay, good. Okay. Teacher. Go, go. Mm -hmm. uh, when people get married in Japan, mm -hmm. they some, sometimes have the ceremony mm -hmm. at a shrine. Okay, shrine. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Rosa Luz. Okay, another volunteer. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, Roberto de Paul first and then uh, Patricia. Okay. Okay, Roberto de Paul. Okay. After. Okay. After the food is served, the guests give a speech or sing song. Thank you, Roberto. Uh, Patricia, next. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Okay, good. Okay, do you remember that yesterday uh, we were giving what? We were. Um, we were basically uh, saying uh, some things, for example, if you are, a, for example, like when people go to church, do you remember? Do you remember we were doing that? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? 
Cuando las personas van a la iglesia, yes. when people go to church, coma, mm -hmm. what happens? You remember that? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Can you tell me one sentence? When people go to church, mm -hmm. cuando las personas van a la iglesia, when people they go to church, are quiet. They are quiet. Yes, good. Okay, good, good. Me, me alegra que se acuerden de eso, okay. ¿Por qué me alegra que se acuerden de eso? Porque les voy a enseñar algo ahorita. Okay. Look. Look at this one. Uh, déjame ver. I'm going to move this one. Uh, okay. Look. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay. Look. We have when, right? When people get married in Japan, coma. Can you see the coma right there? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Can you see the comma? Yes. Okay, good. Every time, cada vez que ustedes escriben una palabra o una oración que comience con when, like in this example, when people get married in Japan, coma, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay. All of these, todas estas palabras que ven en font, en negrita, they are subordinating conjunctions. Okay. That is a subordinating conjunction. Why do we use subordinating conjunctions? We need subordinating conjunction to join sentences para unir dos oraciones. Okay? <coughs> y cuando va al principio, se utiliza una coma. Si pueden ver ahí, hay una coma, another comma. All right? Sí? Coma, okay. coma, coma, coma. Okay, yeah. look. Yeah. Okay. Read the chat. Miren esta oración. Miren esta oración. En el chat. When I when I go to supermarket to the super to Walmart, let's say. When I go to Walmart, I spend all my money. See? Can you see that? When I go to Walmart, I spend all my money. Right? Can you see it? Can you see that sentence in the chat? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. listen. Hay otra forma como poder expresar esa misma oración. Look. I spend all my money when, when I go to Walmart. ¿Pueden ver la oración ahí? I spend all my money when I go to Walmart. Vamos a ver, ¿cuál es la diferencia, sí, entre, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre las dos oraciones? Uh -huh. Que no lleva coma. La segunda. Good. La segunda no lleva coma. Excellent. Ok, good. Listen, cuando utilizamos a adverbia, a cláusulas adverbiales con la palabra when, after, before, tengo la opción de poder colocarlo ya sea al principio o en medio. Cuando la coloco al principio, necesito una coma. Pero cuando la coloco en medio, no necesito comas. Is that clear? And I gave you the example right here. Di el ejemplo. El primero es, when I go to Walmart, coma, I spend all my money. Period. De ot la otra forma es, I spend all my money. Ve, no llevo ninguna coma ahí. ¿Por qué no llevo ninguna coma ahí? Porque I already have the subordinating conjunction, una conjunción subordinada. ¿Ok? En este caso es when. When I go to Walmart. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro eso? Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Ok, good. The same happens with after the food is served. The guests give speeches or sing song. The same thing. Pasa lo mismo. Vamos a ver. After I go to church, después que voy a la iglesia, what happens? Mm -hmm. What happens? Mm -hmm. After I go to church, mm -hmm. Look, after, uh, after I go to church, 
people go to eat with families. Ok, las personas, después que van a la iglesia. Bueno, en that case, no es que yo vaya a la iglesia, sino que uh, cuando las personas vayan a la iglesia, en general. Okay? After uh, people go to church, they go to eat with families. They go to eat with families after they go to church. Ok. Ok. Good. Ok. All right, so I hope this topic uh, is kind of clear. That's why I will need your help. Okay, Patricia, can you read the direction in section A? What do you know? What do you know about reading customs in North America? Mm -hmm. Complete these sentences with the information below. Okay, good, thank you so much. See, what do you know about wedding customs? What is customs? ¿Qué es customs? Costumbres. Costumbres Costumbre. o tradiciones. Ok, traditions. Customs and traditions. Ok, pueden ser costumbres, tradiciones, etc. Ok, so it says, what do you know about wedding customs in North America? Complete these sentences with the information below. Ok, let's do number one together. Before a man and a woman get married, comma, they usually A, B, C, D, E, or F. ¿Cuál de todos sería? Before a man and a woman get married, antes de que una mujer y un hombre se casen, they usually, what happens? Letter E. ¿Ah? Begin to plan the wedding. Letter E. Letter, letter E. Okay, okay, no hicimos esta actividad ayer, ¿verdad? We didn't do it, right? No? No. Okay, good. No. Okay, so what happens? Before a man and a woman get married, they usually, ellos usualmente, estamos en la número uno, they usually, A, B, C, D, E, or F. What do you think? Yeah. F. Okay. Begin to plan the wedding. Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver la respuesta. Okay, vamos a ver la respuesta. Date each other. Okay, vamos a ver. Yes, they usually date each other for a year or more. ¿Qué significa date? ¿Qué significa date? ¿Ah? Cita. La fecha. fecha. No, Cita. no, no. Listen up. Ok. Cita. Sí, exacto. Ustedes Cita. saben que en inglés. Yes, yes. Thank you, Diego. Mm -hmm. Ustedes saben en inglés una palabra tiene muchos significados, right? You know that. Ok. Yes. Y ustedes tienen razón. La palabra date, hablando de, de horarios, hablando de meses, es una fecha. Eso significa date. Pero. If we are talking about a romantic uh, scenario, a romantic um, uh, talking or, or a romantic topic, date no es fecha, ya no es fecha, sino que es una cita, ¿ok? Pero tampoco okay. es okay. una cita de ir al doctor. No, 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 no. Es una cita between couples, ¿ok? Porque si ustedes dicen una cita para ir al doctor, ¿cómo se dice a uh, una cita de ir al doctor? Mm -hmm. Appointment. Good. Appointment. Appointment. See? Okay. I, appointment. Appointment. Okay. Esa es una cita para ir al doctor. Pero si tienen una cita con, okay, con su novia, con su esposa, con una amiga, eso es que es date. Okay. okay. For example, date. you can say, I have a date tomorrow. See? I have a date tomorrow, okay? Or you can say, I have a date with my wife, see? Tengo una cita con mi esposa, all right? Or I have a date with my girlfriend, okay? Or in the case of the las chicas, puede decir, I have, a, I have a date with my husband or my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? ¿Estamos claro ahí? Clear. Yes. Okay, good. So, okay, so number one is before a man and a woman get married, they usually date 
each other for a year or more. What about here in El Salvador? How, how about here? Do they get married very quickly or do they get married after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years? What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> how about here in El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. Pueden contarme de sus experiencias si están casados, you can tell me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes before and sometimes is after. How many years? One or two or three or more? Uh, sometimes uh, uh, 50 years. 15, 15, yes, 15 años. Yes. No, no, 50, 50. 50 años. Sometimes, sí. yes. I have here a case uh, that happened. Listen, listen, up. okay, escuchen. <laughs> yes, yes. Lo que usted me está diciendo es que uh, unas parejas salen por 50 años para casarse. Sí, ya he escuchado y han salido por la televisión. No, no, but I'm talking about here in El Salvador. Here in El Salvador. <laughs> here, here in El Salvador. Yes. Oh, so maybe they live yes. together, right? Se viven juntos, they live yes, together. Yes, ah, yes. okay. Okay, that makes uh, sense. Yes, and they decided uh, to get married uh, mm -hmm. uh, after 50 years. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yes. yes. But usually uh, people, uh, they date... That. They date uh, sometimes for one or two or three years, right? And then they get married. Yes. Okay, number two. Okay, ¿quién quiere hacer number two? Number two? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién quiere hacer number, la número dos? Okay, Amilcar, número dos. Número tres. ¿Quién quiere leer la número, o quién quiere decirme la respuesta de la número tres? ¿Alguien? Mi teacher. Ok, Roberto Adonai. Número cuatro. Número cuatro. Mi teacher. Ok, eh, Lili. Lili. Ok, good. Uh, number five. What about number five? Mi teacher. Uh, Patricia, good. Uh, what about number six? Mi teacher. Uh, Edith, ok. Vale, ok. Okay, number two, uh, Amilcar, I guess, right? Amilcar, number two. Okay. Uh, when a couple gets and hangs the man uh, offer, uh, gives the woman an hanging ring. Okay, let me see. Okay, um, yes, that's the letter D. Okay, everyone, repeat after me, everyone. Gets, get, 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 engaged, get, engaged, 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 engaged. Okay, one more engaged. time. Gets engaged, gets engaged, gets engaged, engaged, gets engaged. Okay, ¿qué significa? What does, what does get engaged mean? What does it mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Get engaged. Como comprometerse. Comprometerse, yes. When a couple gets engaged, the man often gives the woman an engagement. What is engagement? Engagement. Mm -hmm. Compromiso. 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 Okay. Compromiso. Ajá, correcto. Aquí, get engaged significa comprometerse. Y engagement comp significa compromiso. Compromiso. Okay, good. Number three. Okay, number, number three, three. Mm -hmm. right right after a couple gets engaged they usually begin to paint the wedding letter e letter e vamos a ver letter e let's see uh letter e right begin to plan the wedding good number four thank you other night number four when a woman gets married, her family usually. usually. Number Letter. No, no, no. Uh, 
Ah, ya me confundí. Sí. Number E. Uh, number E, letter E. Ya está, la letra, la letra E ya ha sido tomada. So it, it cannot be letter E. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ¿Cuáles son las que están disponibles? That would be... Letter B. A, B. Ok, usted dice letter B. Vamos a ver. No, that is letter A. In the United States, in the United States, usually, usually, when a woman gets married, her family, la familia de la mamá, her family, I mean, la familia de la novia, her family usually pays for the wedding and reception. I have a question for you. What about here in El Salvador? Who pays for the wedding and reception? <laughs> Pay um, who who pay the, the French ah, the group depends, depends. oh, oh all right depends on what all right depends on what yeah. if both work both or the woman both uh, work. the man or the girl ah uh -huh. quién paga quién paga si los dos trabajan los dos no, los padrinos pagan todo. <laughs> But what padrino about... de boda, padrino ah. de la vida, padrino de la vida. Sí, ah, yeah, todo yeah. padrino. Usually in the United States that doesn't happen. Like, um, like uh, for example, when people get married in the United States, they don't look for those kind of people who can help them. No ayuda, no buscan gente que les pague. Usually. That's why they have family. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, good. Vamos con number five. Who is number five? Mm -hmm. I teach. Okay. When guests go to a wedding, they almost always. Mm -hmm. Ahorita solo los que están disponibles mm -hmm. son la B y la C. B go, or C. Mm -hmm. Give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Num letter C. Good, very good. Yes. When guests go to a wedding, they almost always give the bride and groom a gift or some money. And the last one. ¿Quién es el último? Me. Okay, um, Edith. Mm -hmm. Right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Okay. Later, okay. What is honeymoon, by the way? Luna de miel. Luna, yeah, luna de miel. Okay, luna de miel. Yes, let me see. Letter B. Go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Honeymoon means luna de miel. Okay, good. Luna de miel. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to see the next one, uh, the next part. Just let me clear uh, all of this and then we are going to go to the next one. So, what is the meaning wedding? Uh, wedding? Wedding means boda. Uh -huh. Wedding means boda. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, wedding means, uh, I know, <laughs> wedding means uh, boda. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Uh, I would like you to go to the chat and type and give me an answer for that. When someone is born, people, ¿qué pasa cuando alguien acaba de nacer? When people, when someone is born, people what? People what? Okay. People say, uh, uh. Have, uh, congratulations, congratulations. Uh -huh. Okay. He's very happy. Okay, but coloquen en el chat. Quiero ver que sepan utilizar when someone is born, people. ¿Qué pasa? Complementen en esa oración, al igual que la otra. When someone is in love, he or she. ¿Qué pasa cuando alguien está enamorado? Ajá. Aquí en El Salvador. Okay, aquí en El Salvador. Uh -huh. Okay, sí. Escríbanme las oraciones. No voy a interrumpirlo. Lo voy a dejar por un minuto que me escriban oraciones. Okay, en el chat.
Ay, 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 perdón. Ahí se me fue. Okay, uh, okay, let's see. Um, okay, veo que solo a ver, aquí me he contestado. Vamos a ver. A Patricia, Edith, Nora, Luis, Amilcar, Michelle, Patricia. Okay, Roberto de Paul. Okay, good. Okay, vamos a ver. I want to start learning your uh, sentences. Give me a sec. Le voy a dar otros 30 segundos más por si hay alguien que no me ha escrito la palabra, ¿ok? Le voy a dar un momento aquí, 30 segundos, ¿ok? Uy, uy, ¿qué pasó? Ajá. Sí. Ok, vamos a ver. Let's see your sentences. Ok, vamos a ver. When someone is born, people, people neighbor. Hmm. Ok, uh, when someone is born, people visit or give a gift for the baby. Ok, that's right. When someone is born, people and parents are happy. Ajá. Uh -huh. When someone is born. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Okay, King second. When someone is born, um, people wants, wants to meet the baby. Yes. When someone is in love, she gives a present. Okay. When someone is in love, he gives flowers to her. Okay. When someone is in love, he or she usually is really happy. No diría usually, yo diría always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> When someone is in love, they have a date. Mm -hmm. Yes, a date. When someone is, in, uh, is born, people give present. Okay. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. I can see that you typed very good examples. Okay. Very good sentences. Okay. Do you have any question? Mm -hmm. Oh, déjenme consultar algo ahorita, déjenme revisar algo. Oh, ok. Qué bien, qué bien. Puedo ver que todos utilizan coma después, ¿verdad? When someone is in love, coma. When uh, someone is born, coma. Good. Eso está muy bien. Excelente trabajo. Ok, let's move on. Also, this week, uh, we talked about my favorite holiday. I want to hear someone saying what his or her favorite holiday is. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyone who wants to share what his or her favorite holiday is? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Oh, okay. Again. <laughs> okay, again. Okay, that's good. Uh, let me see somebody else. Uh, let me see... Uh, let me ask, uh, let me see, uh, let me see, Diana Lopez. Mm -hmm. Diana Lopez.
Diana Lopez, what is your favorite holiday? Yes? Diana, maybe she's not there. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, let me move on because we need to cover another topic. Maybe just to remember that. Do you remember that uh, also this week uh, we learned something about relative clauses of time? For example, we say, right, Thanksgiving is a day when people celebrate the harvest. Mm -hmm. February 14th is the day when people give cards to the ones they love. New Year's Eve is a night when I have fun with my friends. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Okay. Let me see this one. Can you choose one of the holidays? Por cierto, esos son inventados, okay? No son verdaderas, solo son inventados. Okay. Choose one holiday. Do you want to choose one holiday? Okay. I'm going to choose one. And look, I'm going to type a sentence. The pencil. Women's Day. Ah, okay. It could be that one. Oh, okay. That one is true. That one is true. The pencil day is a day when the students do not write. Miren mi oración. The pencil day. ¿Cuándo es el pencil day? El día 30 de marzo. Eso es inventado, okay? The pencil day is a day when students do not write. Okay. Me pueden seleccionar un holidays y, tra y traten de inventar lo que ustedes quieran que se celebra ese día. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, yo elegí el día del lápiz. El día del lápiz es el día en que los estudiantes no escriben. Uh -huh. Pueden escoger cualquiera. Puede ser um, the waffle day, the purple day. It could be the whiskey day. <laughs> it could be the Barbie day, the peanuts lover day, the pound cake day, etc. Okay, pueden inventar uno, por favor. Uh -huh. Pueden escoger uno y escribirme una oración. Uh -huh. Please. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Coach, I have a yes. question. Yes, ask me the question. Uh, uh, 14 days, we say potato ship day. Mm -hmm. What is the difference when I say potato ship and French fish? Okay. Uh, potato chips, basically chips, uh, in United Kingdom or in England, people say chips. In the United States, people say uh, French fries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. French fries. Mm -hmm. French fries. Mm -hmm. thank French you. fries. French fries. En Estados Unidos, las personas dicen French fries. Mm -hmm. En Inglaterra, las personas dicen chips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let me see the puppy day. Vamos a ver cuál. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo lo han escrito aquí? Vamos a ver. The puppy day is a day when the puppies eat everything they like. Ok, good. Vamos a ver, Roberto. No pancake day is a day when all people have a meeting and eat pancakes with honey. <laughs> ok. Good, good. Muy excelente. Vamos a ver el otro. Vamos a ver, Edith. Oreo cookie day is a day when people make a dessert with Oreo. Mm -hmm. Okay. February 13th. ¿Qué pasa en febrero 30? Mm, oh, Amilcar, usted tiene que elegir uno de todos estos días. Por ejemplo, si, si elige el viernes 6 de marzo. Oh, ¿Qué día es el 6 de marzo? O oh, el 6 de marzo. Es el Oreo Cookie Day. Entonces va a ser una oración con Oreo Cookie Day. Uh -huh. Vamos okay. a ver. Ok, ok. Uh, Herbert, the pound cake day is a day when the cake pound are free. 
Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Diego Arturo, the cereal day is a day when the people eat cereal whole day. Mm -hmm. <ríe> es un muy, muy buen ejemplo. Okay, vamos a ver. Estoy esperando ejemplos por los demás. Vamos a ver. What about the rest? Tenemos, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, el, día, el 22 de marzo es el día de la foca. Day of the seal. Por ejemplo, el... El 10 de marzo es el día de la Armada, Salvation, Salvation Army Day. Ok. El día 12 es el día de Podcon. Uh -huh. Ok, Diana López. Ok. The cereal is a day when enjoy eat a lot of cereals. Good example. Uh -huh. Good example. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyone else? What about the whiskey day, the 27th? Okay, Michelle, uh, the puppy day is a day when croquetas are given to the street dogs. Okay, good. Rosa Luz, the puppy day is a day when the puppy eat chicken. Pollo campero, right? Campero chicken. Okay, Rosa Luz, okay. Okay, Patricia. Peanut How do you say pollo campero? Uh, that's, well, we can say, indeed, okay, the, let me tell you this one. Nombres okay. propios de restaurantes o nombres propios de personas no se pueden traducir al inglés. En este caso, pollo campestre, yo lo pudiera traducir, pero como es un nombre de una empresa, no puedo traducir pollo campestre. I can say, for example, um, country chicken, for example. I can say that. <laughs> I can say, mm, and, okay. uh, and that's the meaning, pollo del, pollo del cantón, okay. como pollo campestre, pero como es un nombre de empresa, no lo puedo, no lo puedo traducir, porque es un nombre propio. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, let me see, Pinel Lover's Day is a day when also is my birthday. Really, Patricia? <laughs> so, your birthday, really? okay, let me see when is the peanut butter. It's, oh, I said uh, March. The March. Third. Oh, I did it. Oh, yes. so happy birthday. Happy, happy late birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Alguien más? Someone else? What about St. Patrick's Day? Mm -hmm. What about St. Patrick's Day? Mm -hmm. What about St. Patrick's Day? Mm -hmm. Lo hemos visto. Ah, está en el 17. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Qué se celebra? ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Qué creen que es el 17, el día de San Patricio? Uh -huh. Yes. Hello. Uh -huh. I don't know, teacher. Oh, el día de San Patricio es el día, St. Patrick's Day is a day when people wear green, que se escribe, se, se, se visten de verde todos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, because of the time, um, uh -huh, because of the time, I'm going to stop here and definitely we'll, we were practicing vocabulary, we were practicing um, sentences. And uh, basically, uh, that's what we were covering and working this week. I mean, this in section number three, right? We were working on what? We were working on um, on holidays and some of the activities that we do during those holidays. So I want to say thank you, thank you so much for coming to the classes today. Um, no, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Oh, look at Patricia said, no selfies day is a day when we don't share the selfies. <laughs> good example. <laughs> All right. That's a good example. Okay. So I had to go because I have another group who is waiting for me. So I hope to see you on Monday. Por favor, trabajen en la plataforma si no han terminado and also complete the midterm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to see you on Monday. On Monday, next Monday, okay. I will see you. Okay. Have a great weekend okay. and have a good night. Good, good night. Okay. Good night. Okay. Bye, everyone. Good night.